All right, welcome back everyone. As you can see, I went a little overboard. I apologize. I got carried away doing a redesign of the site. And yeah, this is what we have now. You click, we have our login page. You click it, it takes us to protected. And if we sign out, we end up back here. And <clears throat> one other key thing is when we click protected, we end up back at our, this login page. Now, if you remember before, if you did any sort of login or tried to access a protected page, it would take you to a GitHub, like this very kind of raw page with only the login with GitHub button. So here, we, here I am, I extended it further with login with GitHub and this still works, but if we go back to login, this does not, but we'll get there eventually. So let's dig into the code. I'm not gonna go over all of the UI changes. These are built with Tailwind as well as Flowbyte, which is like a Tailwind CSS component library just because it's, I think that's out of the scope of this project. But what I did want to show you was kind of the changes I made. So here, if you remember, it used to be indexed. Lo instead of login, it was guest and then protected and then public. So let's look into login. And all of this is the same as our previous. We have, this is our guest mode, authentication as well as it's protected. So remember, if we go here and we try, if we log in, we can actually no longer, if we try to go to log in again manually, it'll, it'll take us back to protected. And so that's what this is doing here. Now let's go into our login component where a lot of this is taking place. So, Again, most of this, it's all visual. Same with the login form. So the login form is purely this aspect of the application. The key difference that we're playing with is this guy. So this is the GitHub login component. And so again, that's this button here. So here I pull in the use auth. Oops, sorry. And all, don't disregard all of this. This is all just Tailwind CSS. And here's the key, sign in with GitHub. In previous examples, it was just sign in. And now let's see what happens when I click. Oh, see, it actually errors. The reason for that is because of then the next thing I wanted to show you. This is the other half is here in our Nuxt auth handler, we have sign in is login. So you see in this comment, it changes the default behavior to use login as the path for the sign in page. So let's just comment this out. And again, we still have the, oh, no, nope, actually I wanna delete the GitHub. And now when we click login, it's gonna take us back to the old, do you remember this old ugly thing? And now we click this, everything should work again. I'm protected, welcome home. So, and then if you sign out, boom, kicks us right back here. And let's actually see, can we even go to the login page? Oh, we can. The reason is guest mode. So when I place GitHub and then this sign in, that allows us to create our own custom login button. Pretty neat, right? So I just wanted to clarify a few things here as well. If we comment this out, this should still work. This custom button does not rely on this sign in. Uh, and that's because we're calling GitHub directly. If you were to delete this, then it defaults to the providers here. So let's sign out and it's going to default to GitHub. If we had multiple providers, we would see multiple providers here. 
in this user interface, but we don't. And so what this allows is, say we go to protected, it's gonna redirect us to the login page. You see that? And so those are the two keys. Now when we click on login, it's actually gonna, oops, looks like it actually doesn't work because it's expecting us to sign in from this login page. So now we can put GitHub here and it should all be good. But we can even go further. We can extend this with an object. And so I'm not gonna go into each option, but we can add this callback URL to say, for example, let's just say here, home. So now when we log in, it should take us, if you watch the URL, right back to home. So that gives us some, some neat customizations as well, depending if that's how you want it. You can go even further. Again, if you had multiple buttons, multiple providers, you can add those in. Instead of GitHub, it could be Google, however you want. But for now, this works. I'm happy with this. Hope you enjoyed. My apologies for glossing over the component creation as well as the CSS. But I hope you have access to GitHub and can see all of these code changes for yourself. I'll post the link in the YouTube channel. Great. Take care.